stop believing it and not imagining it because that is the truth, brother. What truth? Huh? Tell me, what truth? And then you call me brother when you are harboring a criminal who shot my wife on my wedding day. But he is not the shooter. Oh, really? So who is the shooter? You? Huh? Why, why, why should I believe you? Why should I believe that Jesse is the shooter? Just, just quiet, both of you. Just, just shut up. You are here, fighting each other, while the real enemy is out there. Of course, father. That is because my dear sister will not let me catch the criminal. She won't catch, let me catch the enemy. That is because she is screwing the enemy. You can say whatever you think or want, but Jesse is not the shooter. But Bill, whom you thought you shot and killed during your innocent campus occultic affairs. Excuse me? Is that the crap she, he, he told you? Huh? Is that the bullshit he told you? Just, 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 just. quiet, good of you. This whole thing stinks now. Let me ask you this. Good job. Are you sleeping with Jesse? I'm not sleeping with him. Liar! Oh, quiet! I want the truth. Are you sleeping with Jesse? I said no. Then why wouldn't you take your brother to where he is? Because I don't know where he is. Father, she is lying. You don't know where he is. Now, how come you are so convinced he is not a shooter? Because he called me and explained. And I tried to call him back, but his phone was switched off. Obviously, he is on the run. Why is he on the run if he's not guilty? Because Dan doesn't believe him just as he doesn't believe me, his sister. Oh, Christ. Are you kidding me, Father? That is a cheap lie. Listen to me, I am a trained secret service agent. I know a blatant lie when I see one. She is lying. I am not cheap like you. That bastard cannot brainwash me. I know him. You do not know him well. He is a criminal. You hear me? Well, then why fine stop troubling me? You all need to be quiet right now. Stop this now. Listen to me. I dare not find out that you're lying to me. I dare not. Because if I... This ends here now. Not a word about this. Let me tell you something. I can decide right this minute to take this case to another level. I can decide right now to arrest you and detain you, but I will not do that. You know why? Because you are my sister. Come on, how dare you allow a stranger come between us? That bastard lied to you. He told you he's an ex-soldier and you believed him? Huh? You believed him? All right, fine. Just know this. There are more lies to discover about that idiot, that bastard. I just pray it won't be too late when you do. Hey, 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 my friend, come here. What did you say? Nothing. You better not call him anything.
I can't be confused. What do I do with this pregnancy? I can't terminate it. No. Goodness, what is going on? God, I can't be confused. Searching for Jesse. You'll never find him. Anyways, I'm gonna take my bag, so I'll see you during dinner. Okay, see you. Alright, bye. Hello, Jesse. Hello, Chris. It's me, Chelsea. Please, where can I meet you? I have a vital information I want to give you. Okay. How did you get this number? Um, EJ gave it to me. You gave the phone to Daniel. What? What did he just say? You heard me, Chelsea. Give the phone to Daniel. I want to speak with him. I know he's right there beside you. Give him the phone. Now. What to you? You son of a bitch. You listen to me. No, you listen to me. Give me. I did not kill your wife. I am innocent. I'm a changed man, Daniel. Yes, I will leave you alone, but that will be in the grave. Well, I just told her the truth. So if you choose not to believe, that is your headache. Just stay away from me. I'm a changed person. Please. Not until I have grounded you and make you beg for mercy. And you know what? I will do that outside the law courts. 
I'm sure she must have told you who I am now. Of course she told me who you are. You are such a sentimental secret agent who allows his emotions to becloud his sense of judgment. Come on, Daniel. I'm a changed person. Don't let us go back to the old days. Those things that you and I have dropped. Please, just stay away from my part. I am innocent. I did not kill your wife. Jesse, you are nothing but a slick, sly son of a bitch. And I promise you one thing, I will get you. And when I get you, I will grab you by your balls and shove them into your mouth. Your eyes will pop out and your ears can only hear my voice in death. Real soon, Jesse. All right. Aren't you taking me home? You heard me, I said get down. Take bigger taxi. Daniel, of course, and don't you pretend. Why would I pretend? I didn't give him your number. You I... gave him my number. Or maybe you gave it to Chelsea. Probably she stole it from your phone. Because Daniel called me and he wanted to get to me through Chelsea. Listen, sweetheart, you and I know that Daniel is a detective. He has a bag full of tricks. Yeah, I guess you're right. Oh, I'm sorry. So, you okay? Why are you quiet? I said, are you okay? I mean, how are you doing? Why did you lie to me? Lie to you? About what? You being an ex-soldier. Look, sweetheart, I'm sorry. Okay? I'm so sorry I lied. That was the only way I could explain to you where I learned how to use a gun. I couldn't have told you about campus cultism. I'm sorry. Okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So are there any more lies that you told me? Of course not. And there can never be any more lies between us. Are you trying to leave me? No. Are you running away? No. <laughs> Listen, calm down. Let me explain. I don't want the force to leave the country. Maybe we go to Ghana or somewhere until your brother calms down. Then we can come back. Okay, thanks for the last. Well, that's the only thing I can think of now. 
right? Okay. Besides, I need to change this hotel. It's coming too exposed. Okay? So you just give me one good reason why you would do what you did. Sister, I'm really sorry. He he forced me into... Don't give me that bullshit. Did he put a gun to your head? So how, then how did you get the number to give to him? I did not. So, so what? You've been snooping around me. You have been snooping to get information to give to him, right? That's not true, sweet. You know I can't do that. Well, you better not, because seriously, henceforth, you should keep your eyes on your nose on things that have nothing to do with you. Or that is going to get you into deep trouble. Okay, see, I'm really sorry. So that it really can go. I didn't even care what he feels or says or was planning to do. But honestly, at this point, I don't know if I should go or not. But the thought of eloping with Jesse fills my heart. The choice was so difficult. Even when I refuse to choose, I've chosen not to choose. this where is he where is who don't joke with me ej where is jesse oh don't be a fool one more nasty word from you i swear to god i'll forget the blood we share where is he well if it's jesse you're talking about and looking for i don't know where he is i just came to pick up something Smart, right? You know Jesse will still not be here. Shut up. You know he's very smart, right? Quiet. You know he's no good. I can forget the blood we share and lose it. Right now I have lost it to behave. You have no one in there, sir. Did you check everywhere? Yes, sir. Such a bag.
our last for the very last time. Where the hell is Jesse? I don't know what you're talking about. All right. You are under arrest for harboring a criminal and withholding vital information from Secret Service agents. You have the right to remain silent, but whatever you say or do will be used against you in the court of law. Cover. Dad, what is... Shut up. this nonsense are you out of your mind father the question should be directed to ej not me why would she be toying with justice i thought i told you to drop it let this go talia the killing of your wife is in the past so why are you now scratch an old wound the wound is not yet healed father especially now that i have seen the cause of the wound oh no that's no way for you to know you don't know that and there is no concrete evidence, like you say, in your profession. Hello. Release my daughter and bring her home. And let's avert this scandal looming over this family. Father, she is the scandal. Can't you see it? Daniel, release your sister and bring her home. And that is fine now. Jesse's apartment. I just went there to look for him. And his passport. What were you doing with it? His... His passport has been in my bag before even this incident. Bullshit. What a cheap coincidence. You wanted to elope with him. Hey, Jerry. Henceforth, you do not leave this palace with that escort of two armed security men. But, Dad... Jerry, that's fine now. And it starts now. Now get to your room. Now! If you will excuse me. this case now and if you do not want to drop it i'm sure you have the state security men at your disposal but whatever you do you need to end this problem between you and your sister now am i understood yes father very good excuse me
was this? This is Jesse speaking. Something. See, you've called me to surrender, huh? Oh, maybe. But first of all, I called you to congratulate you for arresting your sister for accident. Of course you can say that, because I stopped you from eloping with her. I want you to know this, Jesse. Even if it takes the very last drop of my blood, I will find you, and I will fix you. You still don't believe that I'm innocent, do you? Of course not. All right, let us meet in an isolated place, just you and I. I want to prove something to you. No police, no escorts. Let's see face to face. I'll be waiting for you at exactly 1 p.m. If I see any police, you won't see me. Because I'll be waiting and watching. Thank you. Son of a bitch. What did he say, sir? He said he would call me. Tell me where we'll meet. 1 p.m. It's after 12 already, sir. So let's run this guy. No, no. He said no cops. You want to go there alone? You said just the two of us. No company and no guns. Sure. But you have a gun with you. That's because you have guns with you. Tell the man in the trunk of your car to come out. I don't know what you're talking about. Very well then. Let's proceed. I came here actually to speak to you face to face. I want you to see the innocence in my eyes as I tell you the truth. I did not kill your wife. The field was the one who did it. I borrowed my bike and my kids to commit the crime. I didn't know until he told me. So please, stay off my back. I'm not a fool, Jesse. Years ago, you reconciled with me only to poison my drink. Then you reconciled with me again. You shot my wife. Prince Daniel, I did not kill your wife. The man you see standing right before you is a changed man, saved by grace. Oh shit. You shot my wife. Jesse, I say it again. I did not kill your wife. I don't know what it would take me to convince you that I didn't do it. I don't know how to make you believe me. I may have deceived you once or twice. But this time around, I am innocent. I didn't do it. So please, stop trading me. Just let me be. I want peace. Thank you. I will get you, Jesse. I don't care what it takes. Even if it costs me the last drop of my blood, I will fish you out from your hole, and I will kill you. Very well, then. Catch me if you can. But notice, your sister is carrying my baby. So stop flexing your little muscles around.
You're pregnant, Elena. Answer me, EJ. You are pregnant for him. <laughs> okay. I think you're going insane. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't you dare pretend. He told me you're carrying his baby. Aren't you? Aren't you? This is not what you promised me. Oh. Just to pick up the damn phone. Oh, goodness.
arrest for murder and illegal possession of firearms. You have the right to remain silent for anything you see that can be used against you in the court of law. Get up, Stoney. Slow. I'm sure if you knew a day like this would come, you wouldn't have pulled the trigger on my wife. Let me tell you how this will end up. I will continue torturing you until you feel every single pain I felt from the death of my wife. Then I will erase you from this planet. Harboring a criminal who shot your brother's wife on his wedding day. How many times do I have to tell you that he is not guilty? Of course, that's what you'll say. You've been screwing the guy. Right now you're pregnant for him. What was that?
DJ, I'm sorry I deceived you. But it was for your own good. <laughs> was it for your own good? It was because of your selfish interest that you tortured and killed an innocent man without trial. Because you're so power drunk. Listen to me, EJ. Jesse deserved what he got. No apologies. Like Dad said, you cannot keep this baby. You have to terminate it. Never. I will never terminate this pregnancy. I will have his baby. You know, sometimes you talk like a child. You don't see how this is going to mess up your future. Your education, do you? It's my future, my course. We're not in this royal family. We are no bastards. So we raise no bastards. My child is no bastard. I will tell his father what you did to him when he's born. We can't be Jane. Jesse is dead. Oh, yes. As far as I'm concerned, he's dead. Think about your life. Think about your future. You can't possibly have a child for a dead man. Such a shameful thing and dad will not allow that. The time to act is now. She'll be all right. Yes, Father, she'll be fine. She just needs that. Dad? Yes, Dad. I would really like to go back to London for some time. Why? What? Why go back? You know, just that with everything that has happened, everything that I've experienced, I just feel as if I need this time, some time to, you know, relax myself. Hmm. Well, if that is what you want, you have your aunt there in London. So, I will make arrangements for your travel. Is it okay if I go before the end of the month? Yeah, it's okay. But I'm going to miss you though. Bastard. 
dead already.
found her. Just a few suspects. I'm offended. I am the voice that speaks to you. Please, what you want? Whatever you want, I will give it to you. My dad will give it to you. Any amount that you want, he will give it to you. Just set your price. Any amount. I don't need your father's money. Now listen very carefully. Everything in this house have got eyes. They are watching you. As you know, for as long as you stay in this house, you should behave yourself until you see things first again. If you need anything, just clap your hands and the phone will ring. Goodbye. No, please wait. Hello? Please wait, hello? Possible for you to make a call from any phone in this house. No, please wait. Please wait. Please wait. Excruciating. How long? How long do I wait? Will I wait till eternity for them to call? Oh. If only they can just call. Call and ask me what you want, whatever you want. I will sacrifice anything to have my little girl back. 
anything. This witch is stupid. I just hope my little princess is all right. I hope she's all right. Yes? What do you want? I'm tired. I'm just so tired. I'm go to bed. You don't want something to eat? I don't want anything. I am not hungry.
for you be there. Just come to the dining when you are ready. You told me you'd be here. I didn't say that. Why are you doing this to me? What is all this? I'm supposed to be in my husband's house now. What is this? Well, I'm sorry about that. But the day you will see me, you will understand why. Now you may proceed to the dining table and eat. Everything there is yours. I am not hungry! I don't want to eat! How many times do I have to tell you this? I want to go home! My dad will pay you any amount of money you want. I just want to go home! This whole thing is beyond my imagination. It's so frustrating. I feel like a lamb waiting to be slaughtered. Whoever this is, he has got me real bad. And I haven't picked his calls since morning. You have refused to pick my calls since morning. I am tired. 
of hearing a voice without a face. You have refused to eat me. Two days now. I am not hungry! I don't want your food! I want my freedom! It's been five days now! And you will not show your ugly face to tell me what crime I have committed! Why are you such a coward? What, you wanna kill me? Or should I kill myself for you? Would that make you happy? Would that make you happy? I can see you're very, very angry. But listen, I've got nothing to lose, even if you die. Oh, you have got everything to lose. You have got everything to lose! Listen, my brother and my father will fish you out and destroy you. Now listen real good. If you don't call my dad and tell him how much you want and what exactly you want, I will do something that you never thought imaginable and I will never pick up your calls again. on the beat. Okay.